I definitely don't think you look like a dickhead. Um, if anyone looks like a dickhead, I think it's me. Um, I'm, I apologise um, if you feel disrespected. Um, unfortunately, I did have to make some sacrifices at your expense um, to stay in the experiment to be with Sam. I thought he was worth it. Like yesterday when I seen him, like I just found it hard to like look at him in the face even. And I was just so, I was so angry about just like how he left me. He was very good at like making you think, you know, you, you're the shit person. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm heavily flawed. I'm heavily flawed. Um, but you know, when someone is like consistently doing these things to you, like um, with empty promises and then just like totally falling off the face of the earth and blocking me. And then they're telling you that you're batshit crazy. And then you're like, oh, well, I'm now the, now I'm batshit crazy, so I'm the problem. And then you just hate yourself. That's so messed up. Mm. I didn't even expect to, like, fall for Sam, like, the way I did. <sighs> you know, I've gone through life just sort of, like, fending for myself. Um, so it's really hard for me to open up to a man. And then when you have someone... <laughs> I don't know, when you, when you find someone and you can, like, be so open and vulnerable with them, obviously you guys didn't see what it, we were like behind closed doors or what our personal communications were like. Um... I don't know, it's just so, it's just devastating. It's just so hard. a soft spot for him too and I just feel bad that like he's not here and like he can't share his truth because he should be entitled to that as well. Certainly Sam was given the opportunity like everyone else to be here tonight. He chose not to do that. It was his choice. Mike, you've heard more information now. There's more out on the table about Sam. What's your position now? Look, it's getting harder and harder to defend him, I'll admit that. <laughs> really? 